Very good morning, everyone. I hope I can see happy smiling faces. Good morning, sir. Very good morning. Let's settle down and uh, let's quickly get started. First thing on our mind, questions. So let me see who all are here. So how many are confident? How many are super nervous? Students, let me know in the chat box. How are you feeling about your exam? Let's have a very interesting, very informative session. Today, it's going to be for you something where you are finally getting the top level uh, solutions or resources or completion of your part one calls. Okay. When I say top level, what does it really mean? It'll mean that perfect. Let's see. We have Rohita, Prerit, Suchita, Pritam. Students, no, no calls, no readability checks. We have Karishma, Ayush, Om, Sridhar, Jyotsna, Rani, and Osad. Very good. Very nice to see everyone. Mumbai ground, Victor Tango, Kilo, Alpha, Romeo, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, on 1, 2, 1, decimal line, how do you read? Victor Tango, Kilo, Alpha, Romeo, Mumbai ground, read you 5. How do you read? Read you five, strength five, Victor Tango, Kilo, Alpha, Romeo. A very powerful call. Very nice. Very well said. We can say the rate of speech was a little on the faster side. It was a very good call. Students learn to write also our calls. So I'm going to ask one question to everyone. And whoever is ready to give me a live call for that situation, you'll raise your hands. Okay. And I'll take your call sign and you can quickly give me a live call. Okay. So gear up. Be ready to do it. So I'll explain you a part of the flight plan and I will tell you the chart number also. So everybody will be ready for that. Okay. So let's open chart number seven. And let's talk about a flight from Coimbatore to Mumbai. Via whiskey one one nine, whiskey one five, whiskey one five, and whiskey one five not. Coimbatore to Mumbai via whiskey one one nine, whiskey one five, whiskey one five, and whiskey one five not. Everybody got it. Right now, what are we supposed to do in this situation? Anybody needs help with respect to me tracking it for you? You want me to show you on screen? You can tell me, okay. Very 
the flight plan you have understood cruising flight level you'll write 330 flight level 330 is the cruising altitude estimate the time of departure you'll write 1145 estimate the time of departure is 1145 Okay, you can take your own call sign. Uh, right now, you can write a common call sign Victor Tango Alpha Lima Kilo. Okay. Good. Now you will write that. You are 30 DME outbound Coimbatore VOR Charlie Charlie Bravo. You are informed bad weather over Mangalore. Now, this is a tricky situation, students. Here you'll have to carefully look at which ADC to talk to. Okay. The situation is you have 30 DME outbound coin patrol, and you have inf been informed that there's bad weather over Mangalore. Take action. I hope it's clear. Now, if you go back in your memories, if you have attended lectures previously, you know we have solved this before. So try to analyze the pointers you had learned when you had solved it before. Okay, who's ready? Please raise your hands on the on the application. Who is ready? Who can tell me? Who's ready for a live call? Come on, come on, come on. Everybody has an equal chance right now. Good, good, good. I need more, I need more volunteers to do this. I need more people to be ready with their calls. You don't have to write a call right now. You have to give me a live call. Think about it. Who else is ready? Okay, somebody relay the flight plan. Someone please relay the flight plan to Victor Tango Sierra Alpha Juliet. Victor Tango Sierra Alpha Juliet. Mumbai ground, how do you read? Radio 5, how do you read? Victor Tango Sierra Alpha Juliet. Radio 5, Mumbai ground. So, uh, Victor Tango Romeo Sierra Kilo, please relay on behalf of Mumbai ground the flight plan to all stations. Okay. And Sajil, when the flight plan is announced to all stations as a relay, you make, make a note of it. So the key points here would be all stations, all stations. Victor Tango, Romeo, Sierra, Kilo. Like this, you'll start. You'll mention the frequency of ground. And you'll say relaying for Mumbai ground, like this. And then you'll give the flight plan as we have discussed, all the key points. And uh, yeah, and so you'll have to note it down. Do it quickly and please write that call. Victor Tango, Romeo, Sierra Kilo for you. Yeah. Mumbai ground. Victor Tango, Romeo, Sierra Kilo. How do you read? Victor Tango, Romeo, Sierra Kilo. Mumbai ground. Read you five. All aircraft, all aircraft, 
Victor Tango Romeo Sierra Kilo on one to one decimal nine relaying flight plan to Mumbai ground. Flight from Coimbatore to Mumbai. Flight level three three zero. Time of departure one one four five. Route whiskey one one nine. Whiskey one five. Whiskey one five north. Call sign is common. Victor Tango Alpha Lima Kilo. Question one three zero DME outbound from Coimbatore. And question two is you are over Mangalore. Bad weather. Take action. Victor Tango Romeo Sierra Kilo. Very, very good call. I really liked it. Mm, a lot of good things, keywords, a lot of confidence in the call. Rate of speech is a little fast. In the exams, will go a little slow, which can be easily done. Um, very nice. Exact readback is given. And I said common Victor Tango Alpha Lima Kilo. I said everybody can use this. So it's fine. Uh, Rajul, you got the right plan. Just one correction. Uh, everybody, the question is just one question. Okay. This is the question. I'm writing it. Victor Tango Rumi Sierra Kilo. Fix the question. This is the question. 30 DME from uh Coimbatore. You are told bad weather over Mangalore. Okay, take action. This is the question. So, Om, Pritam, and Ayush are ready for the call. I'm very happy. Very, very. I'm not surprised, of course. I was expecting you all to be ready. Um, I need more people to be interested in doing this. This is the question. Sajal, have you got it? Got the flight plan? Chart number seven? From Victor Tango, Sierra Alpha Juliet. And Victor Hangar Romeo Sierra Kilo, in your call, one more thing, you'll say relaying for Mumbai ground. First, you'll say who is sending this message. That's very important. Or we can directly say this all stations, all stations. Victor Hangar Romeo Sierra Kilo, relaying for Mumbai ground, like this. So that the call signs are introduced first, and all stations know that this message is coming from air traffic control, Mumbai ground, must be an important message. So we are doing something on behalf of someone, right? I just want us to go a little slow, okay? The pace in exams, whatever pace comes, it's fine. But ideally, we'll try to go a little slow, okay? Who else not ready? Sajal, are you not ready for a live call? Jutsna, are you not ready for a live call? Usaid, are you not ready for a live call? By, by the way, how is everyone doing? Very nice to see all students. Very, very happy. Uh, I can see everybody studying and I can now see that there's very good quality. Just last night, I was thinking to myself that this time everyone, uh, this is this was my thought. This time everyone is giving amazing calls. I'm like, this time everybody has got it. Everyone. Even Pritam has got it. Jyotsna has it. Rani has it, Ayush has it, Om, Sridhar, Karishma. Everybody is doing it. That's very nice to see. Usaid is doing it, Sajal is doing it. Ayush already has been giving calls. Nukul is giving calls. Very nice. Suchita is ready. Very good. Okay. Usaid, what's happening at your end? A lot of time given to think. Here I'll give you all a hint. Hint, reroute. Some of some of the students we have done this in the past. 
something similar to this. You all know the flight plan, right? Coimbatore to Mumbai. Chart 7. So you will make sure you choose a route that is northbound. Okay? Now any more interested people feeling confident enough to fly this flight? See, Mokka mil rahe, plane udane ka. You're getting a chance to fly. We have good news. Uh, yesterday, one of our students gave the exam. Day before yesterday, I guess. Sixth. And he said his exam was good. He said part one was good. Part two was well, also very good. 72 to 80 percent. He said, I'm having, I'm very happy. I'm like very good. One on one. Okay. So, Victor Tango, Romeo, Sierra, Kilo. You have already given me one good call. So now you'll have to also see that the next call is better than the previous one. Pritam, you'll also be there to give calls right now. So, anyone else? Jyotra, Usaid, not interested? Okay. Pritam, go ahead with your call. Everyone will write it. And we will also, I'll also ask someone else to give me the call. Okay, so be ready for that. Chalo, let's quickly do it. And keep your hands raised, uh, others. Pritham, live call, no read out. So if you have written something, flip the page, write fresh. And don't need to refer back to the earlier call. If you have written it down, just do it with thinking. Um, sir, it doesn't go alpha lima kilo. Give your best. Rivanda control Victor Tango alpha lima kilo. Victor Tango alpha lima kilo. Rivandrum control. Go ahead. Rivandram control Victor Tango Alpha Lima Kilo at three zero DME outbound Wember Tour at flight level three three zero radial two seven nine. ATC has informed there is a bad weather over Mangalore would like to divert to destination Mumbai via Whiskey 18 North, Bangalore Whiskey 56 North, Bellary Whiskey 56 North. Mumbai estimating Ogawa zero one three zero Bengaluru zero one four five Bellary Zero one correction Bellary zero two one five ETA Mumbai 
zero three one five person on board one two zero request rerouting clearance okay send me a picture of your call log very good call prism very impressive perfect uh very nice call just two words are i think misspoken here please fix those don't say would like to divert to destination just simple correction here would like to reroute instead of divert reroute remember divert we will only use when we are changing the destination here we are not changing the destination so we'll not say divert we'll say reroute okay perfect call perfect rerouting hats off to you i think exactly this is how you have been trained and i could see a almost near perfect recreation of that so i think you have been really listening to everything you have been instructed it is very difficult to do it and if you have done it then it really makes me feel so happy i'm not i'm 0% worried about you doing good in your exams now but complacency and first time panic first time mistakes can always impact our expectations so make sure that you don't let that happen to you and you continue the quality to be like this excellent just make sure you don't make such silly mistakes so you will just replace divert with reroute everything else is spot on okay very nice i want to see if you have written the time of call students make it a habit now they give us in the exams so question number 1 you will write the time of this call because the time of departure in the flight plan estimated time of departure was 1145 so for me the estimates were too delayed so here for me that was right now data is good but because there's no other error in the call my mind is automatically picking up whatever errors are there so this is how examiners are they will always spot any mistake be it big or small so here i was thinking that okay it's been too long you know almost 2 hours he's just 30 dme outbound and one more mismatch i could see was 30 dme and flight level 330 with respect to coimbatore but with respect to the flight level chosen i was happy that trivandrum control was called but in the exam just make the call here the examiner might be expecting you to directly make that first call but it's a good thought so what was your confusion here preetu uh if you raise a station were you not sure it was trivandrum what was your second choice here the second choice would be uh, calicut tower because i am approaching to the calicut tower so i could take the transit clearance okay here if you uh in this case depending upon your flight level also your atc could change it could be cochin approach also mm -hmm. if your flight level okay is close to uh you know close to cochin here but 150 your case yeah you could say that 150 coimbatore tower uh is also there to help you with the transit clearance in case you would have to go back and cross coimbatore to go to bangalore here flying direct to ogaba was a good idea you don't have to fly over coimbatore you can also request to fly over coimbatore and from coimbatore you can take a radial 014 to bangalore i hope everybody is looking at the chart see i was clearly looking at the chart when he was doing it and in his call whenever a student and whenever you are giving me a call looking at the chart makes me spot your location it's like a radar thing so everything that i'll see on the radar i can see you on the chart i can imagine you are here and from here you are about to go from here to here to here so i get that idea so i'm like okay i can give you the clearance it seems like it's it's clear so 
please write the time of your call here. So here we could have assumed the time of call to be 1 to 1, 5. More accurate. So here your calls and estimates should be like 1, 2, 1, 5 was my time of call. So it could be 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, 4, 5, like that. So always write your time against your question. Time of transmission of calls, this is. So it helps them with the estimates. And in your calls, you don't have to say time now. Can only talk about the estimates and time of incidents. Pritham, any questions? Happy to pull it off. You had two solutions in mind and you chose your right solution. You must be proud of yourself. So for the second one, I was confused. So that's why I chose the first one. That's because if you... I would be mm -hmm. no, because if I would be at flight level 150. So, would I be calling like uh, approach or Calicut Tower? So, I was confused between this. So, that's why it I It chose... could be Calicut Tower also for you because you are immediately in the vicinity of Calicut Tower. Mm -hmm. So, Calicut Tower would also make sense if your flight level is 150. Here, the whole experience in the exam could go where you might not get a response from Trivandrum Control. If the examiner already has something else in their minds with respect to flight level. So if the examiner has Caligat Tower in their minds, then they will not respond to this. That can really trick you and confuse you and make you do mistakes in this situation. But uh, I was checking as an examiner. I thought, okay, let's raise the station, give, give, give a go ahead. And if you have specified your flight level was lower flight level, then I would have asked you to contact appropriate authority. So I would have done that. So, because you said 330, I'm like, okay, control Obviously. So, there you got a benefit of doubt and that is realistically possible in the exams to happen. So, you have to always be very realistic about it in the exams and be aware. You will be able to understand what is happening. It was a good thought to raise the station. Okay, if I would have been thinking that Calicut Tower is only the solution, then you would have played here and there with ATC and probably something else could have clicked in your mind. So very nice to see. Remember one thing everyone, you will always be confused most of the times. There will be such situations where you'll have to think and take a decision out of your instincts and it will work out in your favor. This is learning. This is how you learn to do the right thing. Eventually you are doing the right thing. There might be some times where you end up doing the wrong thing. So that's how you learn. Okay, why did I choose the wrong one? Why did I not choose the right one? Okay. Okay, so we have a question. Why are we not requesting for standard weather deviation? Pritham, why did you not request for standard weather deviation? Please say again, Victor Tango, Delta Alpha Sierra. Why did you not request for standard weather deviation? Because I am uh, between Calicut and Coimbatore. So it doesn't make sense to take a standard deviation right now because uh, Bangalore is too far. Bangalore? Like it's Bangalore. Sorry, Bangalore is too far. It's approximately around 100, 200 kilometers, sorry, 200 nautical miles. It's more than 200 nautical miles. So it doesn't make any sense to take a uh, weather division right now. So that's why I took the uh, rerouting uh, because it makes uh, my flight easier to fly. Okay. Jotsna, what's the point of discussion here? Do you think you can justify? Uh, please go ahead, express. What would you do standard deviation here? Generally, we request for standard deviation when the weather is straight ahead or in line of a flight path, flight path, which if we don't avoid, then will let us in the bad weather. We have to avoid. So it's a deviation we require. Otherwise, if we don't do it, in some time, we are going to find ourselves in a bad weather situation. So please feel free to discuss. It's all about our instincts in the end. 
whenever you get information about bad weather on route you and when you have just departed or you know before departure you request for rerouting it's not a bad option yeah please jyotsha go ahead so i was just thinking ki is there any limit matlab for the nautical miles particularly if we are we have very long ahead weather is bad so is there any nautical particular nautical miles then we have to reroute or we can deviate see first thing here with respect to particular miles i could tell you uh, that uh, the width of the airway okay 10 nautical mile right uh, including right and left five five nautical miles each is very limited and the deviation that we are allowed is up to one five nautical miles from the center line so five nautical miles is already a part of the route and we are allowed a 10 nautical mile deviation so in kilometers it's almost 18 kilometers or so so we can imagine the physical distance why are we not allowing any aircraft to deviate more more deviation will ensure more safety right it is because the route guidance will minimize as we go ahead and we need that route guidance okay so my signals and everything will still guide me on this deviated route so parallel to a deviated route i cannot go further than 15 nautical miles from the airway center line that is one thing i can remember now in this case because i'm already in trivandrum control i have not even entered mangalore control and there is severe bad weather let's say there is bad weather in the exams probably a little bit of hint will be given to you more where you will realize let's say the weather over manglo that is bad let's say it's covering up to that 15 nautical mile circle that big bad weather for you when will you take that weather deviation you cannot take the weather deviation right now because no you can continue flying up to up to let's say crossing the outermost circle of mangalore you can continue flying on route right you you would prefer to fly on route only after that you will require standard weather deviation okay so right now if i require standard weather deviation i could do that if bad weather was over calicut but it's not over calicut it's over mangalore it's on route so whenever you are informed bad weather on route and that place where the bad weather and where you are is very very long far off then you can think okay why to go there maybe the weather could further become bad let's try for a route that is completely clear why because i want to try to avoid the possibility of going even 5 to 10 nautical miles off track if i go there and if i'll have to take weather deviation then i'll have to go to 15 nautical miles off track 15 it will reduce my safety so i would choose to reroute where at least i'll get 100% atc assistance and uh, airway assistance so that's why when i'm very far off with respect to the weather warnings then i can always choose to reroute because that would give me a clearer path and the risk will be minimized but when the bad weather is just right in front of me where i know that okay by the time i do anything i'm going to enter that so i'll just go as far as i can from the patch or i'll follow the weather radar to find my path weather radar will show me which directions or how many degrees right left up and down is safe for you to climb and fly you can just request the same to the atc and atc can clear you and then you can do those maneuvers that is something realistically pilots do but what you are thought is the standard request generally you would request for that standard deviation simple things okay so next call victor tango romeo sierra kilo okay write down the question students if you have any questions please let me know raise your hand students for calls please keep your hands raised okay thak gaye kya digital hands aapke okay hmm we can anytime switch
right now everybody make a note of it over bravo bravo india A C A S A C A S becomes unserviceable. Take action. Now, this take action in the exams could be given to you in a lengthy uh, sentence, a uh, lengthy sentence construction. Do not panic. It just, okay, handle the situation. Here, I want you all to add one thing. Add aircraft enable RVSM due Equipment causes. What are the causes? We have learned four causes. Add one more important cause airborne collision avoidance system should be serviceable, should be operational. Okay. Now, generally, not every aircraft will be fitted with this instrument, but expect expecting that aircraft to be a commercial jetliner, of course, it will be fitted with this instrument. It's an automatic system of detection of planes in close proximity. It gives you some symbolic representations on a small display on the available displays. It shows you the proximity and whether the aircraft is above you or below you. And you get verbal in recorded notes, warning recorded messages or warnings, we can say, that uh, there's a threat to you. There could be some warning sounds so, ACAS, and there is one. This question is everybody always asking what is the difference between ACAS and TCAS? TCAS is also one of the instruments called traffic collision avoidance system. They both are similar to each other. One of them will only show you where the traffic is, the other, that is called traffic advisory, TA. And the other will give you resolution advisory also. R resolution advisory means what maneuver should you make to avoid that potential conflict. Now, this is your homework. Try to find out if TICAS has TA plus RA or ACAS has LA plus RA or TA plus RA. That is the only difference. One only has TA, traffic advisory, telling you where the traffic is. Second will also give you a resolution advisory along with traffic advisory. Resolution advisory code is RA. It means they'll tell you turn right or turn left or climb or descent. But it's your, uh, what do we say? It's your homework to find this difference, students. What, which one is ICAS and which one is TICAS? So I've given you a hint over here. Okay, airborne. Collision avoidance system should be working. So you now know it is an unable RVSM call. Structure it correctly. You might be confused which ADC to talk to. Look at the chart carefully. Go with your gut. Okay. It's in, continuation. it's in continuation of the first flight plan only. It's in continuation of the first call only. So which is the call we have reroute from Ballery. Bellary from Bellary, we have gone to Whiskey 56 North to Mumbai. Now we are over Bellary. As per the new rerouting clearance, we are going via Whiskey 56 North.
to Mumbai. We are over Bellary right now. Flight level 330, of course, as per the flight plan. So, ready? Victor Tango, Romeo, Sierra, Kilo. Please go ahead with the call, please. Rate of speech, go a little slow and give your best. Chennai Radio. Victor Tango Alpha Lima Kilo. Chennai Control Victor Tango Alpha Lima Kilo Victor Tango Alpha Lima Kilo Chennai Control Go ahead Chennai Control Victor Tango Alpha Lima Kilo one three two zero over Bellary Flight Level three three zero Radial one six three Whiskey five six North Aircraft unable to RVSM due to equipment failure request descent to flight level 280 passenger on board 120 Boeing 737 heavy Victor Tango Alpha Lima Kilo Chennai Control Flight level 280 unavailable Due reciprocal traffic. Flight level two eight zero unavailable due reciprocal traffic. Request descent for Flight level two six zero. Correction Request descent for flight level four one zero. Sorry. Okay, sorry, ki koi baat nahi. please continue. Correction request climb for flight level 410. Okay, very good response. A very good uh, rally, I would say. But why are we not ending with call sign? Rule number one. So, Annie, make sure we have to end our replies and read bikes with call sign. We cannot not end with our call sign. This is, this is where we are going to score marks. Okay. Very nice. Uh, good. Spotting. 
it was unable rvsm to equipment uh, earlier you tried to call chennai radio no response you called chennai control you got response uh, fine uh, why were you confused between this can you just share this with me why were you thinking it could be radio also because it's a uh, control okay uh, bahar aata hai belari so i thought it could be radio radio is on hf right on vhf yes. if we have to talk who will we speak with control correct if you would have called on hf what call would have you taken on hf if you would have got a go ahead on hf chennai radio no i mean what would the call be about uh your fire boundary what about a fire boundary you're not on a fire boundary yes but a uh, little bit close to the fire boundary so so what call crossing clearance not crossing clearance position report yes what about rvsm situation that is still there yes so what would you have done about it with radio so here uh, just like uh, in earlier call in the exam okay here examiner might expect you to directly call the right adc here of course if you're calling radio you'll not get a response very nice of you to call chennai control it's a very tricky situation but in such situation students everybody eyes on the chart uh, you are over bellary you should not be confused so i really like that quick thinking that yeah, i am close to chennai let's talk to chennai and after chennai definitely i am going this route here with respect to this chart this route flies through hyderabad control so it's going to be very tricky if, uh, it's going to be mumbai or it's going to be hyderabad or should i be changing the route and going via mumbai control only so here over uh, bellary i could have you know done some uh, further deviation where i could fly direct to belgaum from belgaum i try to join whiskey one five north again that's one route leading inside the other route that i see is generally leading southbound if i'll choose try to take the route that is northbound only there is whiskey one two six but that whiskey one two six is also guiding the flow of bravo to one one which is also going southbound so probably hyderabad control on the border will be guiding me from bellary whiskey 56 north minute and all but again if you see hyderabad control is parallel to the chennai fir boundary okay so this place near pune generally is not assigned any control with respect to this chart so probably you will be talking to mumbai control only on whiskey 56 north going ahead here it could be chennai from chennai if you have to think if you are taking whiskey 56 north whom will you talk to over minet then agela apkor these way points who will you talk to it looks like you are in hyderabad control but if you carefully see this looks like the area of charlie control as in no control assigned and definitely pune has defense that's why people living in the defense area their mobile connections are always tricky because of jammers so generally possibly defense area is what it is regulating even in the hill stations lonavla we have defense stations so that area generally has a lot of defense thing so probably that's the reason why you don't see a clear control here so here it could be tricky going ahead bellary chennai control is right going ahead it could be mumbai control so be very careful about it students such tracks if you are going via this route so generally in the exams at max some examiners might expect you to 
गिव डायरेक्ट कॉल्स विथ डायरेक्ट ए टी सी सो नाउ वी बिल्ड अप मोर कॉन्फिडेंस टू दैट वी थिंक दैट इफ आई वुड हैव कॉल्ड रेडियो वॉट कॉल वुड हैव गिवेन इट्स आर वी एस एम कॉल जनरली आर वी एस एम कॉल्स गो विथ कंट्रोल सो माई माइंड शुड हैव गिवेन मी एंड आंसर दैट चूज योर सेकेंड ऑप्शन एंड माई सेकेंड ऑप्शन वॉज चेन्नई कंट्रोल सो आई कुड हैव डिरेक्टली गॉन विद दैट ऑल्सो इन दिस केस यू हैव डन अ वेरी गुड जॉब Okay, I want you to make couple of corrections to polish your calls and make them perfect. When you are saying enable RVSM, say enable RVSM due equipment. You don't have to say two. Enable two RVSM. Don't say two. And due two equipment also you don't say two. So practice saying this: enable RVSM due equipment. You don't say failure. It's fine. Just say due equipment. It's a quote. We can assume it to be quote. Request descent to flight level two eight zero. What is the rule? Three three zero. It's odd. It's odd number. Why? Because we have thirty. Flight level three two zero is even. Why even? Because we have twenty. So when you have odd flight level, you will request for odd flight level only. So your two eight zero was odd. It was not odd. It was even. It means. You are, let's say, flying in this direction. Three two zero is flying in this direction. Three one zero is flying in this direction. Three zero zero is flying in this direction. Two nine zero zero is flying in this direction. And now, two eight zero is flying in this direction. So I cannot ask for two eight zero because two eight zero is given to reciprocal traffic. So the code for me to choose correct flight level becomes. I want a non-RVSM flight level. This is the last RVSM flight level. So the first non-RVSM flight level is this. Second is this. For me, I am here. I am e. I am odd. Which is the first odd flight level for me? The closest one. It is two seven zero. So I have to request flight level two seven zero so I can maintain my direction of flight matching. So your thinking was correct. You called the first. Not RV as a flight level, but you forgot to keep the flow of traffic or to or even to even. Okay, so make that correction. I hope everybody is aware about this situation here. Why or to or even to even so that your flight directions don't collide with each other, flights don't collide with each other. How can ATC give it to you? So it was a good call. Request climb. Correction. Request descent to flight level two eight zero. A good call. Radial and everything. Why are you calling? Was also emphasized correctly. Position was not too far stretched. I like that. Uh, ATC told you due reciprocal traffic. ATC nicely told you unavailable due reciprocal traffic. You gave a very good read back. I was very happy. You said request two six zero. Same error. You could have requested flight level two seven zero here, and your call would have been perfect. You would have been given descent. So just why two eight zero or two or even two even, and then here it was fine. Don't say sorry and all in exam. It's okay. You say correction, and you fix your call. I like that very good. Then you said request climb. Don't say for climb two. Okay, generally climb two is fine. Descent two is fine, not for. And please end with your call sign. It is very important. We cannot avoid making these mistakes. So, uh, Victor Angulo, me say a kilo. What happened? Why did you request descent to odd flight level? Uh, not odd, but even flight level. Were you not aware about this? And uh, what was going on in your mind in this situation? Please share. No, I was aware about it, but I got confused. And when I gave a flight level two six zero, then I realized. Uh, I should take two seven zero, but I thought no, it could be wrong. Then I go take four your, one zero. Go with your instinct. Why did you think two seven zero could be wrong? Your instinct was saying you the right thing. Why did you doubt it? Go with it. Na? Go with it. Students, go with your instincts. That's how you will solve exams. You are doing the right thing. Yes, and by mistake, I said descent for flight level four one zero. Yeah, it happens initially. 
it happens sometimes with me also a slip of tongue nothing else good that you said sorry it's of sorry say correction and fix it simple and never stop even if you think you have made a major mistake don't stop it's okay it happens you know sometimes i i say something that is totally opposite it's a slip of tongue that happens we need to give ourselves room of uh, that error and we should try to avoid it of course but if it happens it happens we should fix it बट इनिशियली आपने 280 क्यों मांगा पहले 270 क्यों नहीं वहां पे सोचा आपने क्या सोच के 280 मांगा यहां पर बिकॉज़ आरवीएसएम फ्लाइट लाइक 290 से स्टार्ट होता है सो आई थॉट 280 चलेगा बट ये ऑड इवन का कांसेप्ट तब नहीं समझा दिमाग में नहीं आया बट हमने डिस्कस किया है ना फ्लाइट लेवल सारे वी हैव डिस्कस राइट सो वी नीड टू रिवाइज दैट यस everyone the theory we have learned about it you know we know directions from 0 to 179er or uh, yeah east west even odd everything is thought revise it carefully okay you can always be asked about these things in your part 2 by wall so so acche se padho usko revise karo so now you'll remember right what will you do students uh romeo sera kilo what will you do if you are at flight level 350 You become unable to RVS. Which flight level will you select if you have to descend? Two seven zero. Two seven zero. And if you have to climb? Four three zero. Four three zero. Very good. Here four one zero was RVS and flight level only. So four one zero was also not a right choice. Four three zero would have been the right choice. Very good. And why did you not end with call sign? So I said sorry, and then I was panicked. So, mm, no, no, no. It is. It is like, uh, it is essential. No matter what, it is one of those things that we have to do. Whether we panic, whether we are afraid, we cannot miss on to this, right? It's like going to work. You know, it's like sitting in an aircraft. It is like, uh, taking a train. it's always about that no matter how how scared we are to do something or maybe you know riding fast on a bike in a car it's not always not everybody is fearless you know when i am driving fast like over 100 or so i some somewhere inside i know i'm scared i need to be scared so that you know i i'm not complacent because a small mistake could result into a big disaster because the speed is too fast so anybody who loves speed you know especially i think everybody is afraid somewhere and that's what keeps them you know focus that they ensure they don't do the wrong things if anything goes wrong so here we also make sure no matter how scared we are it's our job every day we have to make sure we follow the protocols so ending with our call sign is a very important protocol generally during our initial phases we make these mistakes but once we assure ourselves that okay we will never we will always make sure we end with a call sign then we never forget it it sticks with us just like when we call someone we say hello it sticks with us nobody has taught that to us i don't know why we say hello we could say anything right but hello hello everybody will use hello it's a common common tongue similar to that ending with a call sign becomes fixed in our subconscious So Pritam and uh, Romeo Sera Kilo, good practice, good call. Pritam, you didn't get a chance on a read back because your call was such that probably you would require a read back. But make sure your read backs are also correct and you are also ending with your call signs. If I'm subjecting a delta plus Sera. Sir, so I have one question regarding the chart. Mm -hmm. On the Mumbai Chennai FIR boundary, there is a waypoint, Minat. On their two control boundary, there is a small gap. So we can assume that the Mumbai control. Control is uh, available till 
Bileri. See, Bileri, Bileri, with respect to this, uh, is not directly in anyone's control. Okay, we can clearly see that it's in a small patch. And that patch is not given to anyone. That patch has Pune. It has Avcor. It has Agela. Now, Belgam is written there, but Belgam is not in that patch. Okay. After Agela, Bogart and Minit. It's not Minat. It's Minit, M-I-N-I-T. Minit is also under that patch. Belari and Gulam are also under that patch. And I-G-M-A-R, Igmar, is also under that patch. So that patch, if we are towards Chennai, Chennai control will be available to speak. And if we are towards Mumbai, Mumbai available will also, Mumbai uh, control will also be available to speak. So we can assume Minit, Bogart, Agela, Avkor, even Igmar in touch with Mumbai control more than with Chennai control compared to Bellari and Gulam, where they would be talking to Chennai control. Gulam can be talking to Mangalore control also. Belgam definitely, possibly in some charts it shows you in Bangalore, Mangalore control. In some charts it shows you Mumbai control. So you carefully look what it is. Goa, if you see, is coming under Mangalore control. So now you get more clarity. It's a small patch. A couple of routes pass through that patch where no direct control is there. Simple. So now we are more thorough about this. Students, be very careful. See, I'm not showing you charts on the screen, but I hope you're looking at the charts. Sir, Victor Tango Delta Alpha Sierra. Yeah, go ahead. Sir, I have a question. Uh, could you please open uh, chart number five? Tell me what's the issue here. Uh, so uh, I am flying from uh, Arungabad to Chennai. And I am somewhere between uh, tower and approach control. So the question says, there's a bad weather over Tamir. The route is Golf 450. And I have to take a request permission for direct course to Busbo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the question says that you have got permission from Aurangabad. Uh, take permission from next appropriate ATC. Confirm your departure arrival here. Departure is Aurangabad and uh, destination Chennai. Hmm. <laughs> And you are over Busbo. You have to go to Busbo. And where are you right now? Are you over um, to Park? Uh, no, I'm uh, 30 DME outbound uh, Arungabad, somewhere between uh, CTR uh, and approach boundary. And what's your route? Golf 450, hmm. Tamil, hmm. Busbo. Yeah, 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 I know this. I've seen this before also. Yeah. So, what's the situation? You are 30 DME outbound Aurangabad and uh, at fl you flight what level 70. Flight level 70 and? And the question says that uh, there is a bad weather over Tamil. So yeah. I have to take direct course to Busbo. But yeah. Aurangabad has given us the permission. Uh, talk to next appropriate ATC for clearance. Yeah. yeah. So, your question is which ATC to talk to? Yes, I am telling you Delta Alpha Sierra. Yeah, you'll talk to Nagpur Control. Okay. If you want to do the deviation, the deviation will happen for you to directly fly to Busbo. Partially, you will be crossing Nagpur Control. And then when you enter Busbo, you will be entering Hyderabad Control. So, if you carefully look, uh, you are going to pass through Mumbai Control. Okay. So, 30 DME outbound, Aurangabad. Depending upon your flight level, you will make the call initially. Uh, over here, Mumbai control also seems likely to give you clearance. But if they are asking you about next control, then the next control is going to be Nagpur control in your case. Because after your control, 
so you were cleared to go to the next control aurangabad approach if you would have tried or mumbai control so that is the hint that your atc has given you the clearance so you have got clearance so here the confusion is resolved i don't have to talk to aurangabad approach neither do i have to talk to mumbai control first you would have spoken to mumbai control here next control for you will be nagpur control okay because aurangabad has given you clearance so you'll talk to nagpur control you'll tell your positions and you'll say request rerouting clearance this is also a type of rerouting would like to proceed to destination via busbo would leave golf 450 over the box flight direct to busbo estimating the box so and so time busbo so and so time flight level present radial dme request rerouting clearance ideally with nagpur what is your solution saying i was thinking about uh, mumbai because anyway i'm going to uh, i will be a, like tme but then i realized there is like uh, 1502460 mumbai tme mm. then i again i was thinking i am continuing to hyderabad control so i should control uh, contact hyderabad mm. because i am uh, 30 dme outbound uh, aurangabad so there is was a confusion to call, whom to call like mumbai nagpur or hyderabad mm. but nagpur was your third option yeah here where did i get a hint from next control nagpur was your next control next control according, is... according to the flight plan see you have been given a route in flight plan they have not mentioned which atcs you will talk to mm-hmm. in your flight plan but as per the route definitely nagpur is your next control which is your control aurangabad <coughs> doesn't have control so your mm-hmm. control is mumbai control okay next mm-hmm. control is nagpur control after nagpur it would be hyderabad after hyderabad it would be chennai for you these are your four controls so control here will only mean acc not ctr or cta are you following if i'm sorry to jump in anybody would like to discuss the situation tell us or prove us that no sir some other atc also makes sense feel free to discuss i am open sir, to it you can me. validate your point hello yeah who is asking flight level is 70 flight level we are passing 70 for of course our cruising altitude only so rerouting and all will be given to us by controls only doesn't matter and of course line of sight if line of sight is existing then definitely we can create contact because there is a hyderabad tower with flight level 110 correction 100 till 240 so i am asking that what is the flight level the air space is shared by the but hyderabad that is not tower na that is control Oh, DMA sorry, will correct. be in control. Yes, sir. Correct. Control. So it's overlapping. Yes, sir. So just to mention, uh, cruising altitude. Sorry. Just to mention, cruising altitude is one one zero. One. Cruising altitude is one one zero. Students, rerouting clearance and all will be given to you by control only. Okay. Even one one zero control ideally will take care in an ACC. okay tower or approach if they are not within the range definitely they will not be able to talk to you even if the flight level is low all right so it's a training flight basically for you probably in the simulation it's a vfr flight so what control is control only so everybody look at chart number 5 and look at busbo over busbo you see accs are overlapping nagpur and hyderabad acc are overlapping that airspace is shared there's a there are arrow marks higher flight level here is given to nagpur and lower flight level is given to hyderabad 
So when you are in this position, as per your flight level, you'll have to be talking to different air traffic controllers. So over Busbo, lower flight level, 110, you'll be talking to Hyderabad control. Once you have reached Busbo on that route, remember, before that, you'll be speaking to Nagpur control only. And anyway, Nagpur control has flight level 100 to flight level 460. Students, are you checking the charts? I am not sharing it on the screen, but it's right here. I'm assuming everybody is in sync with me. Victor You know, students, initially, uh, anybody can feel scared thinking about whom to call. It's not just you. You will feel underprepared all the time because you are nice. Because you think you should have prepared more, you should have studied more. We always think we are wrong. Good, good people always think they are wrong. All right. In the exams, we all feel that we could be wrong. Because we'll always feel we are underprepared. Because we expect more and more and more. Even then, if you give yourself some time to figure it out, it gets easier. When you look at everything, every available thing, it gets easier. The only time you will not find things easier when you have not read everything and you realize, okay, I don't know something. The real fear comes from lack of knowledge. That I don't know something. That is the truth behind fear. So here in respect to such situations where situations are so critical for us to determine, firstly, start going with your gut feeling. Don't doubt on yourself. Be ready to correct mistakes. You know, disregard, how to do disregard, you know, correction. And keep trying to remind yourselves about basic things like, okay, ending with call something, being confident and calling the right ADC. Okay. Okay. How to, how to channelize, how to segregate. Okay. Good, 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 good. So we have strategies. The strategy to Raise the station when not sure whom to call has worked for both of the students. So it's your strategy. Be happy that my strategy worked for me. But if we think, okay, I called radio, it was wrong. And now I call the right ATC. And if we be thinking about, okay, I called Trivandrum control or I called this or that and it went wrong. No, I have a strategy where I got the correct solution. So that is working for us. Go with your instincts. That, are, that is what is going to help you. This is real learning. Okay. Okay. Anyone has any questions? Suchita, so Ayush, Pritam, Om, Jyotsna, anything on your mind? Okay. Sir, I have one doubt. Stand by, Sajal, one second. Standing on. Students, think. Go through your notes. Anyone who has doubts, please... Uh... Make sure they are discussed. One second, okay. Okay. Everybody write this down. Uh, okay. Breaking action. All right. This breaking action is related to your runway state. Sometimes on arrival calls or any calls related to runway, you will be given some situations where whether the runway is what kind of runway you are using. And what kind of braking action you are required to have. So you have to 
attach the two things the situation of the runway and the code for the braking action okay so you need to know about this in your conversations i know you all already have a question sir how will i take a call try to create a call only after you have studied this okay braking action you will write also termed as friction coefficient friction coefficient why friction because the wheels of the aircraft the landing gear wheels will be represented as gear students nose gear will mean nose wheel landing gear the one on the nose okay here nose gear left gear would be on the left this will be left gear this will be right gear okay remember those three greens first green could represent the nose gear second could represent the left gear and the third could represent the right gear okay so for low pass and all these keywords could come into come in handy for you friction coefficient what kind of frictional surface is available on a runway and what what kind of friction are you preferably choosing for your braking action for that particular runway okay that is what it is about we start with the lower form of the braking action okay braking action poor second will be medium or poor third will be medium fourth would be medium or good and fifth would be good okay now students generally where do you get this information from okay you get the information from your aerodrome weather reports that what quality of braking action you are going to get on the runway there are numerical codes that will be given to you in your metars wherever it is applicable okay write down the numerical values 91 is for poor 92 is for medium poor 93 for medium 94 and 95 these are codes in your metars there is a group of information called as runway state group okay a runway state group will show you the state of the runway So you just write down this point in a metar. Students who don't know metar, put it in your parking lot. Okay, you might be asked about metar in your part two. So Sajal Usaid in your part two briefing and everybody else in your part two briefing do write reports. If you have not studied reports, if you have some time, you could give it a read. Okay, at least metar. It's not difficult. And it's also there in your metallurgy. Okay, so in a metar, runway state group is added whenever 
contamination of runway exists okay so they will give you the runway designator also and they will also tell you what kind of contamination is there now all all these codes will not be required for you in the examination but the codes will also di uh, dictate whether the runway is clear and dry whether the runway is damp whether there is ice whether there is slush slush is like ice that is almost grated it's like a uh, wet snow something like that and uh, it the code will also include percentage of coverage of ice on the runway water on the runway dry snow okay water patches all these will have separate codes numbers that you learn when you do meta okay and it also shows you the depth of the things like ice what would be the depth 5 mm 10 mm 20 mm 30 mm it matters in certain areas it matters rain is also measured with respect to how much mm of water is collected after the rainfall and then in the same your friction coefficient or your braking action is also given to you so braking action will be reported via numbers braking action niner 1 braking action niner 2 niner 3 niner 4 niner 5 so this braking action comes in the end of the runway state, uh, state group okay so for us for the pilots they can actually get this information either from the metars before landing and take off or from the air traffic controllers also so if your braking action is not good if it's medium i would suggest you ask them if there's any alternate runway available or by when can you get the runway free from contamination when will the runway get cleaned is there any chance or should i be risking my landing with a bad braking action braking action has these numbers your braking coefficients have different numbers okay that is friction coefficient so i'm giving you only in terms of braking action right now so you always go for braking action 94 or 95 that will be medium good or good and then only you will say okay i would prefer to land and i'll try to keep my air speed on the lower side not too low also and i'll when i'm landing of course brakes and there are so many other things that you generally use okay and make sure you know the full forms of all these reports okay okay so chida you have a question no so that was for uh, answering okay no problem sajil uh, go ahead what were you this uh, talking about yes sir sir so the question says that time is 0315 you tune it is at 0230 information was fox trot obtain startup Mm -hmm. Sir, so in my startup call, I'll see information golf because it's over thirty minutes. Doubt is that. Hmm. What's the doubt exactly? Will I be mentioning information for short or information golf? Right. Right. Sir. Right. Hmm. See, there is no specific validity of a data report. Okay, Metar has validity. Who can tell me what is the validity of Metar? Try to recall. Some of the students know this, right? Sir, sir, Mike, tell me validity of Metar. Sir, thirty, ah, uh, thirty minutes. Three sir. Victor Tango, Julia Yankee, Oscar, you tell me. 
Why am I getting two different answers? How many students have attended that math class? Okay. One hour, 30 minutes. Suchita, only 30 minutes? Sridhar is saying one hour. Nukul is not here. Prerit? Okay, never mind. Pritam, no idea. Sajal, do you have any idea about this? Sir, I forgot. No problem, no problem. So generally, you see, that is, generally speaking, there's no such validity to that is. Okay. If you are monitoring that is, that is, is not meta. Okay. Meta is separate. Although information is highly similar to each other. Now, in that situation, what I would do ideally in that, that call would be that I would say information Foxtrot had monitored that is at so at so time. I would have said that in the call. If in real time, as a pilot, if it's been some time, 30 minutes since I had monitored, I would definitely monitor that is again before making my startup call. In real life, if the information has updated, irrespective of the time period between the last report and this report, then only from Foxtrot, the code would change to golf. So we are left with two assumptions in this case. What are those two assumptions? Probably it has changed. Probably it has not changed. So Sajil, what are you feeling here in this situation? I, I'm aware it's one of the solutions from the question papers that you're learning. So what was your feeling and what is the conflict here? So I explain the situation to you. Now, what was your conflict? Let's talk about that. Sir, I thought about the 30 minutes duration. So I thought after 0300, the information will change to next information. So I wanted to make it will change to, So you were right about it. So you called. So in your call, you are saying information golf. Right. And uh, is it not matching with the solution you have? Sir, it's matching. Okay, so what I wasn't sure. But your gut was also saying that, right? Right, sir. So yeah, go with your gut. There are two options. If you are going with information golf, go with information golf. Good for you. If you are going with information fox trot, then you mentioned that I had monitored that is 30 minutes ago. But I'm calling now 30 minutes after. So obviously, they'll ask you to monitor that is again. Still, you would make a good call only. But if you want to, you can go with this. Yeah, You can assume that that is uh, 30 minutes. What do we say? That is 30 minutes. Code could change. But it's not compulsory. Right, sir. So for your solution, if you want, you can assume that for the sake of exams. No problem. Because they are giving you some hint here. So their hint in the exam generally is to just to, for you to see. So they are probably relating at this with meta and probably just the 30 minute validity. So you, everybody keep that in your uh, mind. That 30 minute, you can change the information code for your at this status information from the, this one to the next one alphabetically. Okay, good. Think, Sajal, discuss more questions. You have so many questions. Pritam, Rani, Jyotsna, come on. Usaid, please discuss. We sir? are spending a little more time. Yesterday, we didn't get time. Sir, I have two questions, sir. Uh -huh. Sir, Hyderabad, ke baas, as a dentist. Uh -huh. uh, to, sir, we have to start up. Call hai. 
तो सर इन्फो इन्फो के हिसाब से लेंगे या कुछ और लिखेंगे हम लाइक वेदर इन्फो क्या लिखेंगे आप टावर से एटीसी इंफॉर्मेशन अलग से ऑप्टेन करते हो रिक्वेस्ट एडीसी इंफॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम टावर समटाइम्स एन नेट ट्रैफिक कंट्रोलर कॉल डिलीवरी कुड आल्सो गिव यू दिस इंफॉर्मेशन बट हियर टावर से एटीसी इंफॉर्मेशन लेंगे और कोई कोड नहीं होगा आपके पास बिकॉज डेट इज नियर तो इंफॉर्मेशन कोड भी नहीं होगा बस आप ए टी लेना है आपको उस हिसाब से आपको उसको अलग से एक्नॉलेज करना है और उसके अलावा स्टार्टअप लेना आपको स्टार्टअप में इंफॉर्मेशन कोड फिर नहीं आएगा आपका स्टार्टअप में ओ, सो तो स्टार्टअप में हम कुछ नहीं लिखेंगे पूरा स्टार्टअप कॉल लिखोगे बस इंफॉर्मेशन नहीं लिखोगे क्योंकि इंफॉर्मेशन मिली नहीं है आपको विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू एट आपको इंफॉर्मेशन वर्बली मिली है सो तो हम ये लिख सकते हैं सर वेदर ऑप्टेन हाँ बोल सकते हो वेदर ऑप्टेन ठीक सर सर और एक और है सर चेन्नई के पास एटीसी इंफॉर्मेशन ऑप्टेन भी बोल सकते हो आप वेदर ऑप्टेन भी बोल सकते हो या यू कैन से वेदर ऑप्टेन या टेल मी हाँ सर चेन्नई के पास सर थ्री सर्कल्स हैं सर एक टावर के लिए हो गया एक अप्रोच के लिए हो गया और एक कंट्रोल के लिए सर फोर्थ ए बाउंड्री कौन से चार्ट की बात कर रहे हैं आप सर चार्ट नंबर फाइव तो जनरली द सेकेंड एंड द थर्ड सर्कल ओके दे बोथ वुड डिटरमाइन अ वेरिएशन हियर विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू द एयर ट्रैफिक कंट्रोलर्स बट दे बोथ कुड बी सी टी एज ओनली द फर्स्ट वुड बी सी टी आर ओके एंड दे बोथ आर सी टी एज रिमेंबर दैट डॉटेड लाइन वुड बी सी टी एज कंट्रोल एरियाज ऑफकोर्स and ctr will be control zone so ctr could, could be multiple over there you will be talking to either approach or control it will vary approach immediately the second circle you can give to approach but the third circle could be shared between approach and control also it could be like that so it's not always fixed that every circle is a determinant uh, of that particular person samajh aa raha hai kuch सर सर तो फिर सेवेंटी नोटिकल स्माइल्स पे सर तुम अप्रोच को कॉल करेंगे या कंट्रोल डिपेंड्स अपॉन योर फ्लाइट लेवल सेवेंटी पे फ्लाइट लेवल हंड्रेड के ऊपर तो डेफिनेटली यू विल टॉक टू चेन्नई कंट्रोल ओनली इवन वेन यू आर सेवन जीरो डीएमई आउटबाउंड एंड बिलो दैट यू कैन ट्राई टू टॉक टू अप्रोच और कंट्रोल बोथ विल बी पॉसिबल फॉर यू depends who's handling it at that time so they will tell you who is handling it think 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 do you know what is a jet blast jet blast it's the exhaust from aircraft engines so you should not be subjected to that okay okay just write down these points priority who gets priority okay first priority will be given to an aircraft which is compelled to land due issues like engine failure and shortage of fuel so first priority will always be given to aircrafts which are compelled to land due to issues like engine failure shortage of fuel okay second priority shall be given to hospital aircrafts or aircrafts carrying people for medical assistance these are arrival priorities and departure priorities okay who gets priority first so these are arrival priorities 
next priority has to be given to aircraft involved in search and rescue this is a different list of priorities okay and after these three so first becomes a distress situation for you second becomes a pan pan hospital aircraft of course third becomes a search and rescue then the fourth is vvip aircraft very very important person vvip so vvips come fourth remember this in vvips you write down vip1 vip1 will be the president okay remember these codes it could be a come coming here and there just extra notes vip2 is vice president and vip number 3 is prime minister and vip 4 is foreign heads of state and of governments state as in countries and other government heads our ministers would come other lower ministers would come afterwards Students, sometimes runway will be blocked. There will be a potential of clash. Rolling out of the runway also means taxing out of the runway. Okay. Usaid, do you have uh, anything on your mind right now? Ek aur question hai kya? There is a lot, you know. What helps you understand these things better is... Reading regulations. Okay. There's a lot of information. An article information services. An extra one five. Make sure you read a little bit about it. It's there in the notes. They asked this to you in your part two viva. Basic information about everything is enough. These things right now for RT students, we feel that okay. Uh, these things are very tricky, you know, they are just boring for us. But ideally, this is pure basic. This is how information is generally exchanged or shared to people involved in operations, you know. Okay, Pridham, tell me what's on your mind. Sir, I have a question uh, regarding a question paper. Just discuss the situation, so, please. Only the situation. In chart 3, you are abim DNR that you see on your right. Wait, wait. Chart 3, give me the root. Give me the root. Help everybody come in sync with your situation. Everybody, please for this okay chart number three okay what route departure aerodrome is lay uh -huh. and destination destination is uh delhi route skip three nine uh-huh so i am a beam bnr bunter what is bnr bunter we are bunter pura naam bolo na BNR kya hai? Koi aviation specific abbreviation to nahi hai. It's not like ILS, VOR, DME. So Bravo November Romeo VOR or Bhuntar VOR or Bhuntar. Okay. Careful how you are representing. Okay. What are they saying? You are Abim BNR. Yeah, you are on Whiskey 3 Niner. Okay, carry on. That you see on your right that the 
great water deluge due bursting of uh, river reservoir something like that ta with the appropriate station sorry correction take action with the appropriate station for immediate action anticipate great danger to main property a dam has broken water is flooding on your right buntar is on your right you are abim buntar means you are 90 degrees of buntar you are going southbound from le via whiskey 39er it's a very simple call it's a call going security 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 and here you can make a call to delhi control you can make a call to buntar tower generally you can make a call to charlie control also in this case here basic idea would be to uh, call delhi control or delhi radio to inform them about this delhi radio would make more sense if you are having hf over here it's a security 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 call or you can make the call to charlie control also there are a few options students this is the point abim sir no abim buntar means where are you yeah sorry pritam kya bol rahe ho aap so uh, this would be no pen pen right security 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 so pen pen ke baad security 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 aata hai security 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 you remember we do it for natural calamities earthquake floods volcanic eruptions if there's any vehicle in danger then we say pan pan like a ship an aircraft if there is something called flood it's a flood a river reservoir means a dam a dam breaking down and water is going to damage you have observed that a dam is breaking it means that river is going to flood and uh, all the villages on the banks of the river are under danger so generally we report this call to control aapko kya hai ye call kisko gaya hai yahan pe kya hai batao aapko kya conflict hai aapka kya answer hai aur aapke solutions mein kya answer hai batao so we are here students abhi means 90 degrees we are here going down from le and the situation says on our right only so on our right where is our right this is our right area so somewhere here we have seen a dam flooding a breaking down so you are just reporting it so whom will you report this call pritam kya hai batao conflict kya hai batao solution mili aapko samajh aaya kuch क्या चल रहा है क्या था प्रॉब्लम और क्या समझ आया आपको द प्रॉब्लम वाज मुझे इंटेंशन समझ में नहीं आया हां तो ये एक्चुअली इसका मीनिंग क्या है नाउ इट्स क्लियर लाइक वी कैन कॉल भूटान टावर एंड गिव द इंफॉर्मेशन देयर इज अ डैम ब्रोकन रिक्वेस्ट इमीडिएट एक्शन फॉर देम would the tower also you can call and report but it will be security 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 to catch attention remember that this is that security students s e c u r i t e like this security 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 bunda tower you can call and report definitely can we go for chandigarh chandigarh tower is a little too far off If you are calling Chandigarh Tower, then try to call Bunda Tower first. If you are choosing Tower, then try to call Bunda Tower first only. Okay, we have another question. Sajal, are you there? Uh, what is negative contact with traffic? Sajal, what do you think about it? Quickly share. Make it a rapid fire. What is the RCF. conflict here? RCF. But Sir, basically, first I try to contact. next adc negative contact with traffic means aircraft is not responding okay. sometimes you will be required to communicate with the reciprocal traffic in those situations you are not hearing from the traffic so negative contact from traffic 
TFC means traffic over here. So either ATC can say negative contact with a traffic, particularly that traffic was in an emergency condition. Or you can say that you are required to speak to some aircraft, but they are not responding. Negative contact with traffic generally will be used by traffic controllers to, to communicate that some aircraft is not responding. For you, it will affect your calls in situations where you are required to communicate with some other pilot ideally on probably the same ground tower approach control frequencies or interpilot frequency. So you remember, 123 decimal 45 interpilot. So negative yeah. contact with traffic will hint that you are not in touch with some traffic. So you might not get information that is required for you to have. Is it making sense? Right, sir. So please share your thoughts and sort this confusion out. Okay, it's clear, sir. What is clear? Please explain, Sajil. So I understand everybody understands. And negative contact with traffic means that ATC is unable to contact that particular aircraft. It means that aircraft is also not responding to the ATC. So probably they can receive, but they cannot transmit. Yeah. Right? They might not be able to transmit. Answer one more doubt. Yeah. In chart two, my destination, my departure is Delhi and destination is Kathmandu. Chart two, everyone. Delhi to Kathmandu. Okay. Flight level is 270. Flight level is 270. Delhi to Kathmandu. Chart 2. Kathmandu is in Nepal. So, flight level 270. And what route are you taking? Sir, route is Romeo 460. Uh-huh. 598. What 598? Golf. Golf 598. Okay. And, and Golf 336. Right. Okay. So, the question says... You have crossed Kadas. Take necessary action with appropriate with appropriate authority as per rules. Crossing clearance. Crossing clearance of control boundary. Delhi Lucknow control boundary. Oh. Request crossing clearance. Delhi control. Request crossing clearance. In short. Sorry, transit clearance no sakti because Lucknow control zone be cross karenge. वो लखनऊ कंट्रोल जोन के आसपास मांगोगे आप आपने अगर कड़ास क्रॉस कर लिया एंड यू आर अज्यूमिंग दैट यू आर गोइंग टू अप्रोच लखनऊ कंट्रोल जोन ओनली देन यू विल मेक दैट कॉल इफ यू आर अज्यूमिंग यू आर ओवर कड़ास एंड यू हैव नॉट योट क्रॉस द कंट्रोल बाउंड्री देन यू कैन टेक क्रॉसिंग क्लीयरेंस आल्सो ओके सो इट डिपेंड्स व्हाट यू आर अज्यूमिंग आपका क्या अज्यूमशन है आपके सॉल्यूशंस में क्या है और कॉन्फ्लिक्ट क्या है वो बताओ Sir, जो आपने बोला क्रॉसिंग क्लियरेंस ही था बट आई थॉट अबाउट ट्रांसिट क्लियरेंस नहीं ट्रांसिट क्लियरेंस आप तब लोगे स्टूडेंट्स जब आप एकदम सी टी आर या सी टी ए के पास हो चार्ट टू ओवर हियर द क्वेश्चन इज यू आर क्रॉसिंग कडास टेक नेसेसरी क्लियरेंस विद नेसेसरी रिक्वायरमेंट इज इज कंफ्यूजिंग यू एंड स्केरिंग यू एंड इंटरमीडिएटिंग यू सो आई एम ओवर कडास इट मीन्स आई एम ओवर कंट्रोल बाउंड्री क्रॉसिंग क्लियरेंस इज वॉट आई नीड इज जस्ट कम्स टू मी डिरेक्टली If I want transit clearance from Lucknow, then I have to be somewhere here, somewhere, somewhere in the center. Mm -hmm. Make sure you learn, pick up from this, and apply this. This is our learning. We need to make sure we apply this learning in our exams. These are our final confusions. They should not repeat. Rani Pritham Jyotsna, are you following? Jyotsna, not talking much, not having doubts. I'm happy. But are sir, you following? Sir, so for this crossing clearance, I'll contact Delhi control only because the flight Yeah, clearance. yeah, yeah, yeah. Delhi control only. You'll ask Delhi for crossing clearance. Yes. It should be a proper position report. Crossing and clearance should come in the end. Yeah. Sir, and if the flight level, it was... was below... Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Crossing clearance. No, sir. Doesn't I'm matter. Saying, uh, flight level was below. Flight level 200. Doesn't matter. Okay. Doesn't matter. Crossing clearance with control only. Okay, sir. So crossing control, control clearances will only be given by control, no matter what your flight level is. If you have something otherwise, please talk about it. If you say, sir, here I have done this, what do I do? Then I'll tell you if it is justified, I'll tell you, okay, go with that also. 
आयुष क्या चल रहा है मन में बताओ सर इफ आवर फ्लाइट लेवल इज टू फाइव जीरो देन वी कंटिन्यू विद डेली कंट्रोल देन वाई वी टेक ट्रांजिट क्लियर सॉरी कंट्रोल बाउंड्री बिकॉज वी आर क्रॉसिंग कंट्रोल बाउंड्री बस लखनऊ कंट्रोल में दिल्ली कंट्रोल को थोड़ा हिस्सा दिया है बात करने के लिए इसका मतलब ये नहीं है कि हम लखनऊ कंट्रोल में नहीं है दिस इज एग्जैक्टली वॉट आई एम टेलिंग यू ऑल ऑलवेज दैट समटाइम्स वेन यूर आउटसाइड अ कंट्रोल यू कैन स्टिल टॉक टू दैट कंट्रोल इट इज द प्रूफ राइट हेयर कंट्रोल बाउंड्री क्रॉस करके भी आप डेली कंट्रोल से बात कर पा रहे हो अब फ्लाइट लेवल टू जीरो जीरो बट यू नीड क्रॉसिंग क्लियरेंस बिकॉज जियोग्राफिकली यू हैव एंटर्ड लखनऊ कंट्रोल Okay. Is it making sense? If not, then discuss and argue. Yes, it is making sense. Transit clearance you will take when you are somewhere here or here. Okay, then it will make sense to take transit clearance from Lucknow Tower. Here they are saying you are here. Immediately crossing clearance. Rumi sir, a kilo. Are you learning? Are you picking up things? Final brushing up is happening or not? so i have a doubt aha uh -huh. what is charlie control we say charlie control when we are talking to defense control certain airports like agra gwalior pune such areas have defense areas over there so their airspace is regulated by their control we don't know what their controls are called so we use hypothetical terms like alpha control bravo control charlie control sometimes when you are in such air spaces where you are not in anyone's control you might be trying to connect with you might try to connect with defense control if the call signs are given to you and if the frequency is given to you in exams we can just simulate that between this air space over here agra gwalior this route generally we have defense aerodrome also here so probably we assume that if nagpur control and delhi control both are not going to be talking to an aircraft then who will be talking to that aircraft hypothetically we say charlie control what we mean is defense control so it will not be given to us in the chart we have to just assume it as one of the possible atcs for vhf Yes, got it. Got it. Perfect, sir. Good, very good. So severe turbulence would be made, right? Severe turbulence can be made, students, if you are losing altitude also along with it. Otherwise, severe turbulence. Everybody make a note of it. Severe turbulence could also be unable RVSM calls in certain exams, in certain situations. So if you don't have any other hint, you can say made. But you can request for RVSM deviation. If you are saying Mayday, you will be compelled to land the aircraft for an emergency landing. So you will have to justify your situation. Generally, severe turbulence will require you to descend immediately and require weather deviation also. Here, you will require deviation from the flight path because turbulence could happen due to bad weather also. Or clear air turbulence could also happen to you. Air is clear, but still you are experiencing turbulence. Severe turbulence, you can say made, but sometimes turbulence could also be related to RVSM calls. Be aware about it. Where to apply what? TICAS will only give you traffic advisory. ECAS will give you traffic and resolution advisory also. Remember that. Just on the basis of TA, you should not maneuver. You should also wait for RAs, resolution advisories. ECAS will give you both. So TICAS, ECAS, both can make you unable RVSM. Remember that. And yeah, I want to give you all one more thing before we wrap up this session. So think about it, Sajal. What are your uh, doubts that are not discussed? See, I'm checking. I think everything is checked. From the list, apart from the rule number, so I'm giving you the rule number right now, everyone. Apart from that, what is it? Please check. 
confirm transit clearance that is also fixed right uh kisse lena hai kya flight level pe lena hai and what are your other doubts full form for airway exercise question is done yes, when we enter indian airspace is done uh engine power yeah engine power run up is engine power run up same as high power start up or different okay i'll talk about this everyone a uh, good point of discussion uh before that i'll just give you the rules rules guiding radio telephony act so the rules from rule 63 and 64 indian aircraft rules everybody make a note of it radio telegraph apparatus what makes it mandatory for pilots to have rt license is the requirement for a radio telegraphy apparatus to be fitted on board all civil aviation aircrafts so all aircrafts should be fitted with a two way radio telephony equipment where do you get this in the rule book and which rule book so we have to say aircraft rules 1937 that is the key okay you get it on the dgca we website they are called the aircraft rules 1937 in these aircraft rules 1937 you have part 7 part 7 only comprises two rules those rules are radio telegraphy apparatus rule 63 and rule 64 okay this is radio telegraphy apparatus don't use this code write full form only radio telegraph apparatus now here 63 is only applicable because 64 is deleted so rule 63 is very important and rule 63 talks about aircraft for which radio apparatus as in system radio apparatus is obligatory that is compulsory for which radio apparatus is obligatory compulsory i'll just read out the rule i'm not going to make you write it okay uh but i will show you how to access it okay you go on the dgca website i'll just show this to you once only one rule right now one more act they can talk about that act is mentioned in your rtr forms so 1952 or 58 something like that telegraphy act so now look at this this is the dgca website okay you get home everybody can see this come on uh, sorry yeah come on home and on the extreme right see these are tabs available tabs it's a very simple to use website the working tabs are these on this you come on the last tab regulations and guidance and on this tab you come under the left and the aircraft rules 1937 okay this is when the rules were created here when you click you get all the parts all the rules are divided by your parts and here part 7 is radio telegraphy apparatus part 7 you click on part 7 you see 63 64 64 is deleted 63 aircraft for which apparatus is obligatory you click on that and you get this aircraft for which radio telegraph apparatus is obligatory all aircraft registered in india and required to operate in accordance with vfr and ifr shall be provided with communication equipment which is capable of conducting two way communication at all times with those and nautical stations on those frequencies as prescribed by appropriate authority communication equipment is provided shall be of a type approved by airworthiness authority and so and so 
An aircraft shall be provided with navigation equipment which will enable it to proceed. It's number two, rule 63, number two, also talks about aircraft to be provided with navigation equipment which will help it proceed. Proceed how? Proceed in accordance with the flight plan. Proceed in accordance with the requirements of the air traffic services. And some condition mentioned. Navigation for flights under visual flight rules is accomplished by visual reference of landmarks at at least every 60 nautical miles. And now this is good to know information. Could be asked to you, could never be asked to you. Something like that. It means if you're doing VFR, then your visual references should be spaced minimum every 110 kilometers. So you need to have all those visual references on your route. Just an information put here. That's it. So rule 63, that's it, nothing much. But if you don't know this, then you find yourself in a tough spot. What to answer in the exam? Okay, last one more thing I want you all to know right now is idle power run up and high power run up. Idle power run up is a regular maintenance requirement. Whenever any type of maintenance is carried out, carried out on the aircraft. then they have to do engine run up on idle power engine run up on idle power is what you do when the aircraft is at parking bay you cannot do a high power run up on the aircraft parking bay due to the jet blast the jet blast and the suction of the engine both could impact people and property in the vicinity of the aerodrome if you do high power run up idle power run up generally you can say idle power aircraft is Aircraft engines are below 20% of their operational capacity. High power run up okay, can go up to 60 to 70%. They are both on ground. They are done on ground. In air, you cannot do engine run ups or engine tests. You cannot shut down the engine to test the engine. So engine power, idle power below 20% safe on apron. Engine power above 60 to 70% unsafe on apron. Okay. You can do it. You do it one engine at a time. Possibly one zero minutes or zero five minutes each and you can do for both engines or single engine could be left could be right okay now, if it's a right engine, then generally you have to start left engine to start right engine. So you will have to start. So idle power run up. Run up means I will be starting the engine for some time and I'll be shutting it down. That is run up. Okay. Your high power run up generally both engines. Generally, most of the times both engines. Where do you do it? You do it on a dumbbell. Dumbbell near runway. A dumbbell near runway, students, if this is your runway, a dumbbell near runway would be a spot like this with deflection plates. The aircraft can easily park here like this and then do its high power run up. So the jet blast will be deflected upwards. So there's a special place made, majority of the airports. If this is not available for you, dumbbell near runway, we can name the runway then. You have to come to this runway and then you have to take a U-turn and you have to align yourself like this. 
opposite direction so that your jet blast can go here and not impact anyone because you have good three to four kilometers length of the runway behind you. That is enough to survive the jet blast or not let the jet blast impact anyone generally. So high power run up, you cannot do on a parking base. You have to always request for taxi to dumble near runway for high power run up. Sometimes special places will be designed in any other airports. They could be specially designed hangars also. Idle power run up, you can do any time. After the run up is successful, you can request for actual startup clearance. Once engine run up is done, you have to report completion that engine run up completed, shutting down engines. And whenever you're doing engine run up, all your external lights should be on, collision lights should be on, navigation lights should be on, brakes should be set, of course. So you all know the difference between engine idle power run up and engine high power run up. Both are done on ground. Idle power run up can be done anywhere on the apron or when you're holding short of the runway, you can just do it even then also. You can just do it on the runway also before takeoff clearance. Depends. Ideally, we'll do it before startup. If the success exists, if we get success in the power run up, only then we'll take startup. If not, then we'll cancel startup. Ask engineering team to come and check. Right. Any questions? Idle power run up and high power run up. So duration for a uh, high power run up? It depends. It could be one zero minutes, two zero minutes. Generally, it goes on for some long time. Certain tests require 10 to 20 minutes. Duration, you can mention hypothetical. You can say one zero minutes, one five minutes. If it's going to be in between departure sequence, they're just going to test. And if it's successful, then you'll proceed with takeoff. Then your duration could be 5 to 10 minutes in that case. One of the checks, I keep saying about this, one of the checks we do on ground that requires high power run up on ground from engineering perspective mainly, it's called disco check. Uh, I don't know why they call it disco check. But in that check, we check the pressurization system of the aircraft simulating a higher flight level on ground. So for that, we need to turn the engines at a very high power run up with the brakes applied, like run the engines on a very high power with the brakes applied, similar in a position, either the dumbbell or in this direction on a runway. And we do it and we check the air pressurization. So when you're sitting in the aircraft, your ears, they pop out and it pains a lot. It's, it's, it's very bad. Nobody should go through that pain. Uh, I, I think some people must have experienced that pain, you know, where your pressure difference hurts you in your ears. Your ears pop out generally. So you need your earplugs in that test. It's a very difficult test otherwise without earplugs. And you cannot just open the door of the aircraft and run away also in that case. You have to bear the pain out. It's very bad. But that's a lot of things happen. So in RT calls, couple of times as a pilot, you might require to do a high power run up and all. So in that case, make sure your passengers are aware and maybe provide them your plugs before doing it. If you're doing such a test on ground, such a test generally on ground will not be done with passengers on board. But yeah, extra information. Sajal, is the doubt clear? Um. Okay, we have a couple of more questions. We'll quickly resolve them and then wrap up. You're taxiing and one aircraft took over from right. You are approaching intersection and you see undercarriage of aircraft on fire. Students, no aircraft is allowed to overtake you. But when you are taxiing, you see one aircraft took over from right and you are approaching intersection, probably on the right. That aircraft has made an emergency landing and maybe their undercarriage on, is on fire. Here, what would you do? You would make a pan-pan call and you will report an aircraft is in distress with undercarriage on fire on our right. And you'll also request for some instructions for your safety. Or you will give your taxi report over here. And continuation, there is another question to this point. You are at intersection, firefighting services are busy in putting fire down, say intentions. So here you have to just say that I'm holding short of intersection taxi with Charlie. And probably whatever you're reporting, did that aircraft land? Did the aircraft land on the runway 
or did the aircraft land on a taxiway? That is very interesting for us to see what we assume. Generally, it could mean a taxiway intersection and a runway. On your right means probably it was a runway on your right that they have landed on. So what's the doubt, Sajil? Seems pretty simple. Any doubt on these two questions? Negative, sir. It's clear. Okay. Are you sure you're comfortable? Right, sir. Yes. Okay. What is the difference between taxing in and taxing out? Taxing in means you're taxing in a runway. Taxing out means you're taxing out a runway. Generally, they are used in reference to runways only. Entering a runway, exiting a runway. And what to do when question says ATC channel heavily occupied? We assume that ATC is not there or take a call with ATC. ATC heavily occupied. We can assume that you are not getting a chance to speak. It means everybody is talking to ATC. It means experiencing interference from other stations is what you could understand from this situation. And you can say you are standing by. And uh, you can call the next ATC and you can tell them that this ATC is heavily occupied. Report instructions. We required our we require our clearance on certain priority. What to do? So they might tell you to stand by and they might on the landline inform that particular ATC that okay, somebody is also waiting for you. What's the point? What's the delay? Then they will do something and they'll talk to you. Generally, that can happen and you might be required to stand by. So you need clear instructions as to how much delay they are giving you right now. Why? Is it too, too much of a traffic or just too much of radio noise? So you need clarity on that. Yeah, Sajal, what's on your mind? Sir, so I can basically take the call with the ATC. See, here you can, ideally in the exams, you might be required to call the next ATC and tell them that it, this ATC is heavily occupied and I'm not getting a chance to speak. So you cannot just take a call with ATC when you know the channel is occupied. It means you're unable to transmit because if you transmit, you will be creating interference. So that would be what I would be doing. What's your solution? What are you getting in your solutions? What's the conflict? Sir, I thought about next ATC only. And correct. What's the solution that you have to compare this with? So same ATC. So if you're talking the same ATC, then you have to specify the condition. Anything goes. Mm -hmm. So you have to experience that. Experiencing QRM. Mm -hmm. Interference from other stations. Okay. And you wait for them to give you a go-ahead. So you are officially allowed to speak. Then nobody will transmit. Something like that. Sierra, Sierra, Mike, what's on your mind? Sir, an aircraft is pa parked uh, nose in. What does that mean? All aircrafts are parked nose then. It means they're parked in the face of the terminal buildings. This is nose in. So in order to move out, you have to push back and then taxi. So nose in means, let's say I have landed. After landing in, I have exited the runway, taxiing to the runway and parking nose in the parking bay. All aircrafts generally, all transport category aircrafts, in, especially in Indian aerodromes, they are all parking nose in only. This is nose in. Nose first. Sometimes certain parking bays, you are parking in such way that it's not nose in, nose out. It's simply that you can roll out like that. So nose in is this. So you'll need to reverse and then go always. Reverse will be done through the help of pushback. Is that clear? Say it, Mike. Affirm, Anything sir. you would like to discuss on that? Negative, sir. Mixing of hissing sound on radio check. We have discussed that yesterday. Engine power, high power, run up. Okay. Okay. Uh, anything else pending? Uh, on taxiway, you want to know the effect of brake on runway. You'll say request braking action, runway 3 2. Okay. Like Oops. that. Request braking action and with 3 2. You don't have to say friction coefficient, say braking action. Remember, they can give you the numbers. They can say good, poor, medium, poor, or they can give you the run number also 91, 92, 93. Okay. You have started engines, found one passenger shot from manifest. We have spoken about it, right? 
yes searching sir. engines yes. down request security to search for the passenger you will say first remember that you will not just do it and then if the passenger is not there then revise passenger on board will be coming somewhere down there not exactly in this situation pritam what's on your mind so after averting take off uh, would like to go to the apron then uh, request for brake action on like how would the call structure if you want to check the brake uh, temperature i mean like tire temperature no that is not connected this is different braking action will be with respect to contamination of runways after bad weather rain any weather phenomena brake temperature you will get in the cockpit in the cockpit there is an instrument called brake temperature indicator brake heat indicator through that only you tell it atc that brakes hot indication so we assume aborting takeoff we can always assume that brakes are hot that's why we make a pan pan call also so that is an assumption we make that we are getting a cockpit indication so pritam what are you discussing here exactly no i was i was trying to structure the call like if there is a aborting to uh, take off so i would like to go to the apron see aborting the... take off up to you if you are suspecting brake short pan 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 yeah. pan 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 mumbai tower and a 1 2 and with 3 to aborting take off do vehicle ahead able to avoid vehicle brakes are hot brakes hot indication stopping the aircraft slowly request instructions to vacate runway fire fighting services on arrival i say again stopping the aircraft slowly do brakes hot indication here you have to stop the aircraft if it gets brakes hot indication over here but some situations you will be required to allow the landing aircraft behind you for you to allow the landing aircraft behind you you will require instructions to vacate the runway even with brakes hot so you are still risking but you have to take that risk so that is the case this is how you will structure the call here are you understanding here braking action is not related fm sir victor tango delta alpha sir if i was taking off on a contaminated runway and i was aborting a take off then i would have had to calculate my braking action but because it was a contaminated runway assumption is i would have already taken the braking action before entering the runway it would be given to me in my reports metar and all okay sajal uh, jyotsna pritam uh, usaid rani if there are any doubts pending doubts please highlight i'll re resolve them on priority okay and if you need anything else please let me know please drop me a message others so i need where you are studying pritam tumhara question paper ka thoda wait karo me pas uh, there are a few things that will be practicing in class so you will get it then until then right now not having anything to share once we have something to share we'll share okay so be on standby for those aur kya puch rahe ho bolo pritam i remember apne question papers ke liye kuch pucha hai please sir apne last class mein i guess uh, i'm talking about solve... the same talking about the same only it's not ready to be sent out okay yeah 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 but uh, whatever notes we have shared with you all at least make sure you have gone through all of them once you'll find a lot of useful resourceful material that is going on in these days in exam sessions and if there's anything of importance then you will be getting it we are trying to gather some question papers on your request but kuch jama nahi hua abhi tak acche se ho jayega to aapko bhejte hain hum log the ones that i was talking about solved examples so bhi thoda errors hai so we are fixing it and we'll send it to you anything else whatsapp chat based doubts which we have not resolved please highlight them okay and uh, get get geared up for your one on one sessions also so okay mm, yeah priyam is not here right so pritam jyotsna nukul you will be doing rani you will be doing one session with me 
Janvi will be doing one. Usaid, you'll be doing another one. Sajal, of course. Pritam, of course. So, Pritam, I think tomorrow or day after, we'll be doing a session with you. And anybody else you'll require anything else, let me know. And others will also be doing in sequence. Part two, please study well. Part two, uh, we'll be discussing more points about a few more important points that will help you brush up on your calls. Be ready to discuss your doubts. We might practice a mock also in this duration of lecture tomorrow. We might extend a little more time tomorrow. Also, be mentally prepared. Okay. And just let me know however you feel. And if anybody wants to talk, of course, let me know. So we'll arrange for a call also at the earliest. Okay. Whatever it is, just remind me once more. One more thing I want to discuss. Whenever you are changing, this is the last thing. Make a note of it. Changing from IFR to VFR. In flight, when you're changing from IFR to VFR, from that point of transition, okay? You can say the words, cancelling my IFR, proceeding VFR. That's it. So that day when Sajal was taking a call, I told him, that don't use these words like this right now. Now we see the perfect way to use these. And of course, when you are changing from VFR to IFR, you can simply say, cancelling my VFR, proceeding IFR. Like this. Now, in the first situation, if ATC tells you that if they tell you that weather over so and so place, okay, it means if there is weather, it means you cannot proceed with the, as per VFR. If they give you a hint that VFR unavailable, that is VFR unavailable, then what do you do? You will just reply from there. You will just reply and you will simply say maintaining IFR. Until the weather doesn't improve, you, can, you are free to maintain IFR and keep reporting ATC. In rare cases, these questions could come to you all. So be aware. Don't make mistakes in the way you are structuring calls. Ending with call signs, using the right call signs, using right phrases, and a little bit of theoretical concepts that you have learned with respect to rules of the air. It's all enough. Rest, your intent, whether it's perfect or not, if your call quality is perfect, you will get good marks. And intent, anywhere, if you go with your instinct the way you are doing, it is going to hit the right target. Okay? So that's it. Remember, cancelling my IFR, proceeding VFR. Practice this. Okay? If you need anything else, do drop me a message. And I'll see if I can send at the earliest some questions. Okay? I'll try my best to do it. Other than that, just revise, practice, and keep discussing whatever is there to discuss. Tomorrow, make sure, probably Romeo Serio Kilo, tomorrow 11 a.m., you might be given a mock at the start of this session for you to practice a little more. So, will you be ready, not ready? Let me know. Jyotsna, you will be required to practice. Usaid, you will be required to practice. Sajul, you will be required to practice. Pritam, you will be required to practice on priority. It doesn't mean Prerit, Suchita, Rohita, Ayush, Sridhar, Om. It doesn't mean you will not get a chance. Although we are not communicating much with you, you have the chance to communicate anytime. So you don't feel that, Are our exam ni nahi bolenge. Feel free to talk and discuss. Because anyway, you also have your exams coming in. Right? Are we feeling confident? Or are we feeling nervous? 
कॉन्फिडेंट 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 I can feel the nervousness, but I can also feel the confidence. That's what we need. In the end, we want our confidence level to be even one percent more. Still, it should be more than our fear. That's it. You have to make a call. You have to do perfect calls. You will be nervous. You will be confused. You will be doing a lot of thinking, but in the end, you'll do the right thing. You'll do it the right way, and that's all that it takes for you to score well. use your logic well and be confident go with your gut always keep thinking before doing things and have at most clarity simple things right chalo i'll take your leave students thank you for being so patient and nice okay i'll see you take care everyone thank you sir bye sir bye bye